Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Stefania here with us this morning, and this is Stefania's third of her eight adjustments that she's going to be getting this week here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. And I wanted to talk about posture and biomechanics and how that can influence your health positively or negatively. Positively, if your biomechanics are lined up properly without vertebral subluxation complex, and then also health issues that can develop if you're misaligned biomechanically, which we call the vertebral subluxation complex. And I'm going to talk about how posture is a mirror to your spinal biomechanics. So we're going to, Stephanie, I'm going to have you close your eyes for me again and flex your head forward and backwards. Okay, back to neutral. Now see, I can tell she's a side sleeper most of the time because her head is forward. Her ear is all the way out here over her clavicle. It should be back here over her shoulders. That's why her hands are out in front of her a little bit. And just so happens she's getting most of her discomfort in her lower cervical, upper thoracic, mid thoracic spine region today. However, she came in with lower back pain, left sciatic, all the way down her left leg into her big toe, which is the L5 nerve. I can map the whole body out by the nervous system. She has had left sacral and SI joint subluxation, misalignment and pain, lower thoracic and mid thoracic pain, which I just discussed, along with the upper thoracic. And she's also had neck pain and stiffness that radiates out into her shoulders on both sides, and you get really tight traps, don't you? And she also has had in the past tension headaches occasionally that crop up as a result of these subluxations. Have I missed anything? No. <laughs> okay. So we're going to show you today how I personally adjust people and, and look at posture pre-adjustment and post-adjustment to determine a patient's biomechanical configuration three-dimensionally on the x-axis the y-axis and the z-axis. Okay, so we can see that she's forward in the z-axis. Her ears are coming out here and her hands are out in front of her. She's a little bit translated to the right on the x-axis. So that's putting more weight bearing down on this right side. So she's probably got tighter traps on the right than she does the left. Her pelvis is pretty much centered up today. It was off to the right a little bit yesterday, but it looks better today. And you've had two adjustments so far, Stefania, is that correct? Yes. And tell tell our YouTube crack addicts how you're feeling after your first two adjustments, besides I'm, sore. I'm feeling way better than when it first came Than out. when you walked in the door? Yes. <laughs> and that's just with two adjustments. We got the whole week to get you straightened out and get your act straightened out. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, she comes down here all the way from Tulsa, Oklahoma, which you said what was about eight or nine hour drive? Eight hours. Eight hours. Yeah. Okay, Stefania, let's lay you down here. So with this adjustment, which you've all come to know as the ring dinger, is really a manual decompression adjustment of the entire spine from the occiput all the way down to the sacrum. I pin both iliac crests in here with these big pins. And that's tied in it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want you to get away. And see, so you can check her reflexes. They're not that great beforehand, so we'll check them afterwards. You can check function before and after the adjustment. Just breathe through your nose. Will you left big toe? Yes, ma'am. I know you felt that one all the way down, because I certainly did. Okay, so I'm going to recheck your reflexes here now, and looky there. You see the difference in how that jumps? Yes. So not only should you be able to see the difference in the mirror after your adjustment, you should actually be able to feel the difference and see the difference, and also feel the difference in the pain levels and function of your bodily organs, muscles, tissues, and cells. Because the nervous system controls and coordinates the function of every other organ, muscle, tissue, and cell in the entire body. Let's go ahead and lay on your tummy here. 
you know, one of my big goals with doing these YouTube videos is to educate the world on the many benefits of chiropractic care and adjustments. Left leg is a little short today by about a quarter of an inch. It gets even up here and that probably tightens up a little bit in your low back and your thighs. Does it? Not bad though? Good. I'll slide down this way just a little bit. So she's got a left SI joint subluxation and a right SI joint subluxation. There's L5. That's tender too, isn't it? Yes. And she's really tight here in this thoracolumbar region. Now this is called palpation. This is where I'm actually feeling the spine. That's tender right there too, isn't it? Yeah. And she's got some ribs misaligned with her thoracic vertebrae in the mid and upper thoracic spine. Her cervical spine palpates uh, rotation to the right, C5, C6. Her atlas is off to the right on the right side there too on the x-axis. So I'm going to adjust her left SI joint first. A lot of you have commented before how nothing's happening whenever you see this table drop and all you're hearing is the table noise. Well, all of our patients can tell that I'm moving their vertebrae and their spine and their pelvic bones when they get this adjustment. And this is biophysics. An object in motion tends to stay in motion. So when the table drops, it gives me an accelerated shear force. I better quit talking and get mad when I talk during the crack. <laughs> it's hard for me to quit talking about the benefits of chiropractic care. Same thing with this, even though you're not hearing a lot of cracking, I'm adjusting her cervical curve to make it a forward lordotic curve rather than straightening out and causing that hump to start right here in the upper back and causing the neck and shoulder pain. Okay, let's turn you on your back now, please. So, we hope that you're learning about the benefits of chiropractic adjustments through watching our YouTube videos. Let's have you put your arms straight out now. So I'm adjusting both her AC joints, which is the acromioclavicular joints, her, her sternoclavicular joints bilaterally, and her costosternal joints bilaterally. There, okay, you can relax your hands right there. Now with this adjustment, I'm specifically adjusting the knee, the hip joint, but you feel decompression down at L5-S1 in the lower back too, don't you? Girl. Good. Feel that one up there too? Yeah. Good. Okay. Let's see you a little taller now. <laughs> okay, let's have you face that way. On this one, I'm adjusting the glenohumeral joint. Which if you use the computer a lot or your smartphone a lot, those shoulders have a tendency to lengthen out and get out of place. And adjusting the uh, elbow here on the right, her wrist, and her phalanges. Which when I adjust all these joints, it sends a proprioceptive afferent neurological bombardment into the cerebellum, rewiring the cerebellar function uh, balance, posture, coordination, and all kinesthetic movement with that left wrist is weaker. Okay, let's stand you over here in front of the mirror now. So, I'm going to have you step you on and flex your head forward and backwards again. Now, she's already got better range of motion. That's also something we look for. And see how her head now, here's her ear now, a little bit, about half an inch back from where it was. We still got about another half an inch to go. You can see her head's still a little forward in the z-axis. But you see how you're squared off down the middle now and your head's not over to the right anymore? 
How did that feel right now compared to when you walked in the door this morning? Way better. Way better? That's good. So, you came all the way down here from Tulsa, Oklahoma after watching our YouTube videos, right? Yes. Yeah. And why did you make that decision? Because I was I'm gonna have to do surgery if I didn't. Like, that was they told doctor. you you were having to have surgery if, if you continued to have this back problem with your herniated disc, right? Yes, yeah, that was good. So this is kind of your last ditch effort <laughs> to avoid surgery, correct? Yes. Do you think you're gonna be able to avoid it now? Yes. Yep. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> You know, we see patients from all over the world that are suffering from herniated disc and either cervical thoracic, cervical brachial radiculopathy or lumbosacral radiculopathy, which is often known as sciatica. And getting adjusted can help you get off of narcoid pain medications, opioid pain medications, which that's a big deal because a lot of people get hooked on those type of medications if they take them for any period of time. And in cases like Stefiana's and many of our other patients who you've seen us do YouTube videos on, we can help them function and feel better because we are correcting the vertebral subluxation complex that's pinching on the nerves from those herniated discs. And especially with this manual spinal decompression adjustment, it takes the compression off of the disc and helps the nucleus suck back inside of the disc so we're getting true decompression. There's a surgical procedure known as decompression as well, but that's very invasive. They have to actually cut into your spine and they're cutting muscles and soft tissue and ligaments and sometimes they nick the nerves. We've had patients come in here having back surgeries that now have permanent nerve damage as a result of the surgeries themselves when before their pain level might have been a four on a one to 0 10 scale and then after surgery it's a 10 for the rest of their life and they got permanent numbness and tingling all the way down their legs and their feet chiropractic adjustments are a safe effective and cost effective alternative to more radical medical procedures like drugs injections and they did one injection on you already right yes and they wanted to do another one or another one, like three of them before they did surgery. Yeah. And you've only had the one, and feeling like you are right now, would you think you have to go back in for a third one? Or yeah. second one? <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for sharing your experience with everyone this morning. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas, where we practice hardcore chiropractic care every single day. We'll see y'all soon.